Some very interesting comments from Anthony Joshua here with regards to Tyson Fury and the mind games that he perceives Tyson Fury to be playing. He said, quote, It's just psychological warfare. The man will talk about drinking pints and he's not interested, but yet he wants to look chiseled. He's training the hardest he's ever trained. He's the skinniest he's ever been. He wants to have a good body. He wants to be well prepared. But AJ has a good body, chiseled and trains, and he's a bodybuilder. Tyson Fury would do the exact same thing if he could. It's all psychological warfare. What they call me is what they want to be. He wants to have a six pack. That's why he's training as hard as he's training right now. Why he looks so chiseled. Why he's in America training. It's just psychological warfare to make me not want to believe in myself. However, I understand what this is all about and everything he says. I am everything he wants to be. The reason why he's saying he's drinking 12 pints is because he knows he could never do that to fight me. He knows what type of fighter I am. If I told you I'm drinking 12 pints, I ain't worried about them. You know, I'm running 12 miles more than I've already run before. You know I'm not drinking 12 pints. You know that's how serious this challenge is. You want to make it seem so small. That's how big, you know, this challenge is going to be. He knows. I don't need to talk about Tyson Fury. I don't need to belittle the man. But you're talking to me. I know I'm the man of this division and I will be for a long time. End quote. So what Anthony Joshua is suggesting there is that Tyson Fury is attempting reverse psychology whereby he's acting nonchalant about Anthony Joshua like he doesn't care, he's drinking 12 pints, all this kind of stuff because he wants Anthony Joshua to doubt himself. He wants Anthony Joshua to think, wow, maybe I'm not very good because this guy isn't even taking me seriously. This is what Anthony Joshua is suggesting. He also talks about envy, basically. That if Tyson Fury could have the physique AJ's got, he would. And perhaps... This is part of a long-running theme with Tyson Fury where he's been envious of AJ for a long time. And this is something I've said in many of my videos over the past few years, that there was an element of envy there with Tyson Fury, particularly when he was on his hiatus. It got to a point where he seemed almost obsessed with Anthony Joshua. Every tweet, every day, constantly trolling AJ online. And this is when Tyson Fury looked like he may never fight again, when he was grossly overweight. But he would constantly bash AJ all the time in his tweets. And for the most part, AJ didn't re reply. When he did reply, all of the Tyson Fury fans jumped on AJ and started attacking him for responding to a guy who's been trolling him for, what, a year and a half, two years? So I think there is something there as I say, with regards to Envy, that, yeah, Tyson Fury won a heavyweight title or multiple heavyweight titles in that fight against Vladimir Klitschko. He beat Klitschko before AJ did and he beat him without getting dropped, without getting outboxed for long stretches. But he didn't capture the imagination of the public at that time the way that AJ did. He didn't have as much fanfare around him. He wasn't as popular. And I think that is what Tyson Fury resented. That's what his dad resented. And as far as the aesthetics, yeah, I'm sure there's some superficial envy there where he wishes he could look like AJ, be chiseled and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, most people feel that way, right? Not necessarily they want to look just like AJ, but they wish they could be in better shape themselves. They wish they could be the best version of themselves where they do have a six pack and they look great and all that kind of business. But more so than that, because there are plenty of chiseled fighters out there 
and I'm sure Tyson Fury is not envious of them. Far more significant than that is, like I say, the attention, the adulation, the fanfare surrounding AJ. Tyson Fury felt like all of that love, all of that attention should have been his. He was the one who went out there and beat Klitschko and opened up the heavyweight division for everybody. That wasn't AJ who did that. So why is AJ getting all this credit for beating his leftovers, essentially, in Klitschko? Whereas when he did it in Germany, in hostile territory, not only did he not get the kind of fanfare, but he was savaged and attacked by the media who tried to destroy him. Now, I'm not saying it wasn't his fault at all. Some of it had to be his doing, right? But I'm just speaking from the Tyson Fury mindset or speaking to the Tyson Fury mindset. I think this is where a lot of the envy towards Anthony Joshua came from. He felt aggrieved by the fact that AJ was getting love from the public and credit from the media, which he didn't really get, or not to the same extent anyway. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about what AJ has said here. Tyson Fury's psychological warfare, mind games, reverse psychology, acting like he's not bothered and he's all nonchalant to try and make AJ think, wow, maybe I'm not very good. This guy's not even training for me. Or perhaps it's the public who he wants to convince of that rather than AJ. Who knows? Uh, but Tyson Fury, I'm sure, is training very hard, just like AJ suggests in this interview. He's certainly not the slimmest he's ever been. Tyson Fury, in the run-up to the David Hay fight, which never happened, was far more slim than he is now. And around that kind of time when he was with Peter Fury, prior to the David Hay fight getting cancelled, because he put a load of weight on, after the David Hay fight got cancelled. But around that kind of time, Tyson Fury was in tremendous physical condition. There's a video of him. I think it's by a swimming pool. And I believe that might have been out in Belgium when he was training with Peter. And you can even see abs there on Tyson Fury. I mean, he looks in tremendous condition. The best condition I've seen him look in other than in the run-up to the David Hay fight, which obviously didn't happen. So that part of what AJ said there is not true. Tyson Fury has been slimmer than this in the past. But who knows? Maybe by fight night, he could be in that kind of condition. I doubt it because the amount of weight he put on, not just during his hiatus when he got stripped of his titles, but even, as I say, after that David Hay fight, the amount of loose skin he's going to have on his body means he's never going to be able to look the same as he did when he was in his mid-twenties or late-twenties at that point when he looked aesthetically better than he's ever looked before or since. He's probably never going to be able to get back to that because of the things his body has been through since. The weight he's put on, all the loose skin he has and all this kind of stuff. Even his body chemistry would have changed compared to when he was a younger man. And that can affect aesthetics. You know, that can affect how efficiently you metabolize fat and so on anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments below come and join me on patreon and access my weekly no holds barred censorship free podcast where we lift the lid on a wide range of controversial topics it's not mainstream friendly it's not politically correct but that's the whole point we dare to stand as a beacon of reason against an army of insanity just head on over to my patreon page and select the tier called Hatman Hot Topics. You'll gain access to a minimum of two hours of exclusive content every single week, including podcasts, videos, interviews, live stream Q&A sessions, as well as my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. Not to mention a vast back catalogue of hundreds of hours of previous episodes. You can listen via the Patreon app with the option to download in high quality MP3. We've also got a Discord server where you can come and chat and hang out with myself and other members. There's no contract, no commitment, and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers. 
by signing up with me here on Patreon today.